hello hello again brothers and sisters in Christ um, I'm over here sitting by my little buddy see what we got hooked up for little buddy can you see him I don't know if you can tell it or not hey buddy say hi his bed is up there and we've got two little stools here and one mama can put her feet on right here and sit by buddy I'm happy with this this will work doesn't look too awful crowded I am on here to show you a share with you for those of you who cared you know if you don't like this date watching you don't have you know don't worry about it you stick around for the other stuff all right I want you to hear just a minute or two of this video I'm watching from Steve Fletcher 222 because the title caught my eye first thing when Lord August 24th or December 25th bless his heart he sounds like he's about to cry and there I've got a, I'm gonna use a snapshot of the eclipse that's gonna happen on Christmas and I'm gonna use that as my custom thumbnail the way my computer's been doing now, I don't know if y'all, your devices are doing this or not. We should probably all be doing the same. Is now when you click on a video, the custom thumbnail stays there until you click the arrow, the little triangle, to play. As y'all's been doing that, that's what my computer's doing. Anyway, so you can sit there and actually look at the custom thumbnail for a minute or however long you want to before you click play but it's in the video and he explains it anyway let me just play a couple minutes I want you to hear this this is 20 wait a minute 13 minutes in and I'm trying not to lock myself into a box saying this has to be August 24th no there's signs beyond August 24th I'm trying to share with you and show you that we don't know when the rapture is. We're looking for the rapture, but now it's not. I don't know if we can have a sign and we'll know when it will be. We're just hoping. You know, we're just hoping. I mean, it's, something has got to give here very, very soon. The pressure is heating up. I mean, if a woman was dilating for so long at 10, 10, 10, 10, dilation that baby has got to I mean something the mom is going to die if that baby doesn't come at some point I mean that's the way I've been feeling I mean it's like how, how much longer Lord how with all the stuff that's been going on around the world in the country crops are, or crops are gone for most of America the silos that held crop from last year is gone I don't know about all of it but a lot of it I mean it, it's like Lord it has you know anyway I'll let you listen to him there's just too much there's the, the pressure is just too much okay so I encourage you to go and look at this sign on December 25th I just, I, I am amazed. I'm blown away by this, the power of this. I had not followed through and, and seen how, how Jupiter is going to continue on, but I did. I did the, I did the, I did the search. I, I went and I, I watched Jupiter as it moves out of Scorpius and where it's going next. And it's going to be exactly in a annular solar eclipse on the fourth day of Hanukkah, which happens to also be Christmas. Now, if that, is that the day of the Antichrist? The day of Nimrod? The day of all the false gods of Babylon? Is that the day? Is that why Obama said he's going to win the war on Christmas? Why did Jesus tell us to pray that our flight be not in winter? What, what does it all mean? How can we understand it? Okay. 
And this is what we all need to do. We all need to consider where we are, what's really happening, what the signs really mean, where the signs are going. The Antichrist is about to come on the stage here. And they have a they they have planned rituals. They have planned rituals that take place year after year after year. The biggest one of the uh, uh, of all the rituals is is the false birth of the Messiah when everybody kneels before a tree and worships a tree. Okay, I don't agree with that. I've never in my whole life knelt before a Christmas tree. We have knelt down to get our presents. And I always felt that giving a present to a person was because Jesus wasn't there to personally hand it to, but whatever we do for one another is the same as doing it for Jesus. In my heart, I've always given a gift because I couldn't give it to Jesus. But if this is how you all see Christmas, and and I know it has to do with Nimrod and Semiramis and paganism, and Jesus told me he loathed the paganism of Christmas. Oh, never mind. False alarm. Okay, anyway, I, um, I'm not going to get off on that. Let me, let me just play him another little bit, and then I'll stop and let you listen to his whole video if you want to. And now we have an amazing sign. Does that mean we have to go to Christmas? I don't know. I don't know. I sure hope not. But this is a powerful sign, and it happens to be on the same day that I received my sign, seven years to the day on the Hebrew calendar, midweek Hanukkah. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop it there and post the link. This poses some questions. I've never quite heard a video like this from Steve Fletcher. But he brings up a good point that the Bible does say pray that your uh, flight be not in winter. So it is apparently not wrong for us to pray for the rapture to happen. So I'm going to suggest that we all start doing that and let the Lord know we want to come home. I know some of you have been already and others are just waiting for whenever. Whenever it happens, it's fine with me. Pray that your flight be not in winter. How about we do that? The Lord does say that. Pray that your flight be not in winter. It's in Matthew 24. I'll have to find it. I'll post it in the description box. All right, I'm ending it here. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over this video and the internet connection and over my computer. And I pray that not only does this go up, but also the one I spent all weekend trying to get up. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've it's trying I've Hit share. It's supposed to be going up now. I hope it will. I told the Lord, if this pleases you, please let it go up. So anyway, I plead the blood over all of you all as well and all of your devices. And I pray so we can stay connected while we're here. I mean, if this, if it could be on August 24th, I don't remember seeing a video on that. I don't remember... His reasoning on that, I have to look for it because I want to know every possible day. And after that, you, you've got Feast of Trumpets, you got Rosh Hashanah, wait a minute, that's Hanukkah, there's something else, I'm not thinking of it. There's three fall feasts that have supposedly not been fulfilled. So we'll see. I was sitting here counting out. What if the first rapture is 
Feast of Trumpets, and then 40 days later, I'll have to look into that, brothers and sisters. I don't want to read anything into it. I'd rather hear it from the Lord. But we are supposed to be found watching. And I, as, as a rule, I've never sought out the scriptures for possible dates. Anyway, it beats watching TV, doesn't it? Hey, I say yeah. So, not that I have one. <laughs> I do not have a TV. If I had one, it would beat watching it. <laughs> so, I'll let you go with that and I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.